KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, October 23rd. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather, at least most of the state, stays dry through tomorrow. Rain returns part of the day Thursday, Thursday night into Friday morning. And then for the weekend, again, mostly dry. Let's go in there and talk things over this morning. This is the upper air look across the country. We have troughing over the northeastern states, troughing back in the southwest. Got a plume of high moisture coming up into Texas from Hurricane Willa in the eastern Pacific. Pretty chilly this morning. Cold up north, many spots below freezing. Around here, we've got mostly 40s, although some of the colder pockets are in the upper 30s. There's the watch warning map around the nation today. Very quiet. Hardly any uh, big weather issues expected. We do have a marginal risk of severe storms over parts of the southwest United States, and that's about it. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Bigger totals over the western Gulf Coast region and Texas. And again, that is moisture from current eastern Pacific Hurricane Willa. In Alabama, the amounts are heavier for the southern half of the state, over one inch there, one half to one inch for the north. That bulk of that rain will be Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, Friday morning. But the Atlantic Basin, very quiet. The big story is this hurricane, Willa. Uh, top winds, 140 miles per hour. This comes in today as a major hurricane, most likely a Category 3 on the coast of Mexico. It dissipates very quickly by tomorrow morning, but again, some of the high-level energy from this, the upper wave energy, will spin up a surface low on the Gulf Coast region, and that brings that chance of rain to Alabama Thursday into Friday. Let's take a look at it in modeling. This is the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid today at 1 o'clock, troughing over the northeast, again troughing over the southwest, and a little feature on the Gulf Coast could bring some rain to Mobile, Pensacola, New Orleans, Panama City today. But again, for the rest of the state, will be dry. We'll call it partly sunny with low 70s. Tomorrow, much of Texas will be wet. Alabama dry. Again, comfortable. Lots of sun. High should be in the low 70s. But on Thursday, there's our Gulf of Mexico low. It's sitting on the Gulf Coast of Louisiana. And that will be spreading rain in here. Uh, at some point during the day Thursday. We figure the most widespread rain comes Thursday afternoon. This run a little faster. It might be uh, suggesting some rain reaches West Alabama Thursday morning. And Thursday will likely be a cool day. We'll be in the 50s all day. And then Friday, the surface low is on to the east, and the rain will be ending Friday morning. Cloudy and, again, very cool. The high only in the middle 50s. That's about uh, 15 degrees below average for this time of the year, but it looks like the rain will be over in time for the high school football games Friday night. Now, Saturday, an upper trough comes in here. This is Saturday at 1 o'clock, and uh, this is suggesting there could be some clouds around Saturday and maybe a little light rain uh, Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. This is Saturday at 7 o'clock, and we're going to insert that in the forecast. There's not much moisture to work with. But we'll bring that in as a, just a chance of some light rain Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. High Saturday should be in the 60s. And then Sunday, the upper trough is on by. The sky should be partly to mostly sunny with a high in the upper 60s. Monday, cool and dry. Highs in the 60s. And a week from today, Tuesday, the 30th, troughing on the east coast, troughing in the west, ridging in between. And again, for us, we're cool and dry. And most likely Halloween will be like that the following day on Wednesday. This is going out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, November 1st. Big trough to the west, and that's suggesting a chance of showers and maybe some thunder in here if that verifies. Here are the numbers. You can see those cool days on Thursday and Friday with clouds and rain. Highs only in the 50s, back in the 60s for the weekend, and maybe some low 70s in here as we get into the month of November. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Uh, due to a travel schedule, just one video today. Uh, back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. And if you can, catch Charles Daniel on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Bye.